Hello, this is a review of the Banggood tool holder. It is 5C, which goes into the spindle or a fixture, and on the other end, this is ER32 socket, which accepts ER32 collets. It is important for such tool holder to run with minimum run out. So let's see what we got here. We're gonna use a lathe with a 5C chuck to check for run out. This is my setup. An indicator. This is one hundredth of a millimeter, one division. And this is a 5C chuck. Let's check how this chuck is set up, because that's important. I already set it up on the far further journal, which is located somewhere in this area. Let's see what we got. Let me just have some zoom in here. Okay, now you can see. We'll rotate the spindle. You see a little bit of fluctuations. This is because the journal is very short and has some little variations in roundness, I believe. But overall it's less than one hundredth of, of a millimeter. Let's just move the whole thing to the other journal, which is tapered journal. And set it up on zero. Okay. All right. Let's let's do it. You see any variations there? Extremely small, maybe a couple of microns. So, for me, that's a good setup. Let's take indicator out and put a Banggood tool holder in place. will take a while because those chucks are notoriously slow. But that's okay for demonstration. Okay, it is set up. Alright, let's bring an indicator to the contact with your 32 taper. Alright, let me set it up so you can see. Okay, let me turn it. Move a little bit this way.
that's a four thousandth of a millimeter run out it does not look very good to me especially considering Banggood advertised this holder as having one hundredth of a millimeter accuracy whatever that means thank you bye bye